awards are one of the highest civilian awards of India and are conferred in three categories, Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan, and Padma Shri. The Padma Awards were instituted in 1954. Except for brief interruptions during the years 1997 to 1980 and 1993 to 1997, these awards have been announced every year on the Republic Day of India. The award is given in three categories, Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan, and Padma Shri. Padma Vibhushan is of the second highest civilian award in India and is awarded for exceptional and distinguished service. Padma Bhushan is awarded for distinguished service of a high order. Padma Bhushan is the third highest civilian award in India, awarded for distinguished service of a high order. Padma Shri is for distinguished service and is the fourth highest civilian award in India, awarded for distinguished service in any field. Bharat Ratna is the highest civilian award in India. One of the awardees is an Indo-Canadian business tycoon, Prem Watsa. Mr. Watsa is an Indo-Canadian billionaire businessman who is the founder, chairman, and chief executive of Fairfax Financial Holdings, based in Toronto. He has been called the Canadian Warren Buffett. Some of the highest civilian honors in India, the Padma Awards, were conferred on 119 recipients in 2021. A ceremony to honor the awardees could not be held in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Government of India held four separate ceremonies at the Rashtrapati Bhavan on November 8th and November 9th to honor recipients of the Padma Awards. President Ramnath Kovin conferred the Padma Awards to Shuttler P.V. Sindhu, footballer Oinam Bembem Devi, singer Pandit Chanalal Mishra, and journalist Lalbiak Tanga Pachau, among others. The list comprises seven Padma Vibhushan, ten Padma Bhushan, and 102 Padma Shri awardees. Sixteen awards have been conferred posthumously. The list of awardees includes 29 women and one female identifying member of the trans community. A ceremony to honor the Padma awardees could not be held in 2020 and was delayed in 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi, Home Minister Amit Shah and other BJP leaders graced the ceremony. 29 awards were given in the field of arts, 25 in literature and education, 13 in medicine, 20 in social work services, 8 in science and engineering, 6 in sports, 9 in trade and industry, 2 in public affairs, and the rest in other areas of craft trade. The Padma Awards 2021 were also awarded in the education sector. Formal External Affairs Minister Shushma Swaraj was awarded the Padma Vibhushan posthumously. The award was presented by President Ram Nath Kovind to her daughter, Bansuri Swaraj, at the ceremony held in Delhi. Star badminton player P.V. Sindhu and women's hockey team captain Rani Rampal were conferred the Padma Shri Award by President Ram Nath Kovind. The president also gave awards to renowned Hindustani classical singer Pandit Mishra, singer Adnan Sami, and Bollywood actress Kangna Ranat. Former head scientist at ICMR, Dr. Raman, and India's first woman air marshal, Dr. Padma Bandopadhyay. President Ram Nath Kovin presented Padma Shri to many sports stars, such as Bem Bem Devi. She is the former captain of the Indian women's football team and is also known as Durga of Indian football. Filmmakers Karan Johar and Ekta Kapoor received their Padma Shri awards in a ceremony held in New Delhi on Monday evening. President Ram Nath Kovin presented the Padma Awards for 2020 at the Rashtrapati Bhavan with Prime Minister Narendra Modi in attendance. The awards were given out in four batches. Actor Kang Ranat and singer Adnan Sami received their Padma Shri Awards in the first ceremony on Monday morning. The honors list for the film industry includes singer S.P. Bala Subramanyam, who will receive the Padma Vibhushan posthumously. The Padma Awards for 2020 have been somewhat controversial, largely because of Adnan Sami, who is of Pakistani origin and has become an Indian citizen in 2016. His Padma Shri was widely criticized when the honors list was announced in January 2021, with the National Congress Party calling it an insult to 130 crore Indians. Adnan Sami responded, the people who are criticizing are some minor politicians. They are doing it because of some political agenda that they have, and it has nothing to do with me. I am not a politician. I am a musician. Kangna Ranat and Karan Johar, once very public enemies, receiving Padma Shri honors the same year has also not escaped comment on the internet. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in to the International News Channel. I'm your host, Ava Blackwell. Remember to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss out on any of our latest content. <laughs>